Wow, trailers on top of trailers on top of trailers. In the past week alone, we've gotten a total of seven new trailers I can think of for big blockbuster movies coming our way. I can only talk about so many, and there are some that I don't feel the need to talk about, but being a Marvel movie fan, I just couldn't skip out on talking about this new Fantastic Four trailer. And luckily, I feel that there is enough to be talked about. So this is the second trailer we have for Fantastic Four. I was surprised to hear that they changed the title. For a while there, I thought it was going to be called The Fantastic Four, and I like that because it made it sound different than the movies that we already have. But then I guess after the teaser was released, they just said, okay, take out the word the, we're just gonna call it Fantastic Four. Oh, okay. I understand it's a cleaner title, but... Whatever. At least it's better than fan four stick. I'm glad they fixed that in this trailer. So this trailer begins, and one of the first things I noticed is that you hear someone talking to Dr. Storm. I'll get to him in a second, but I noticed that the guy talking to him was the actor Tim Blake Nelson. I actually recognized him from the 2008 Incredible Hulk movie. Remember he was that university professor who got a little bit of Bruce Banner's blood in his forehead scar? He was like going to become the leader or something, but it just never happened. Yeah, that guy is in this movie. He plays Harvey Elder. I don't really know anything about his character, but it looks like he's going to be funding this big science scientific space trip that Dr. Storm is putting together. Now with Dr. Storm, this character piqued my curiosity. It's not really because he's Johnny Storm's father and Susan is the adopted daughter. It's more because he's a scientist. As I've said before, I don't read comic books. I just don't. I'm sorry. I don't know if Johnny and Sue's father is a scientist in the comics, and I don't really remember the siblings even having a father in the other movies. Then again, I don't really remember much of anything in the other movies. But to me, this is interesting because it gives him a direct connection to the main story. When these four people, actually five because future Dr. Doom goes up there with them. When they go up into space and two of them are the kids of this guy, he's gonna have a little more than a lot to say if anything bad happens to them. I just hope it doesn't get too petty. Now as far as our four main characters are concerned, I like how they're being portrayed here. Miles Teller continues to look really good in the role of Reed Richards. You know when Dr. Storm says that Reed Richards knows the answers to questions that we don't even know to ask yet? How many geniuses does the Marvel comic universe have? Seriously. And Kate Mara looks really good as Susan Storm. She's come a long way since being a US Marshal in Iron Man 2, apparently. Johnny Storm looks like he's going to be the hothead like he should be, and Ben Grimm also looks great. I especially think he looks great when he is the Thing. I personally love how the Thing looks in this trailer. It isn't some weird makeup like it was back in 2005. This is motion capture technology. He really looks like he is made of rock and he is pissed and he is ready to kick some ass. Great job, guys. And in this trailer, we finally get a look at the villain, Dr. Doom. I know that there's a lot of talk about this guy, like his name is different and he's a blogger and that's dumb and you would think that they would learn. I'm personally not too worried about him because I'm pretty sure that they have learned. I could be wrong, I don't know, but from what I see here, I think he's going to be a pretty pretty good villain. He looks like a great Doctor Doom. So this movie is looking better. The unfortunate thing about the Fantastic Four is that their story is a little crazy and ridiculous. These guys are sent out into space on a mission, and they're exposed to cosmic radiation that gives them weird superpowers. There's no getting around the fact that that is a little far-fetched. We're just gonna have to buy into it, I suppose. After all, these guys were the first Marvel heroes that Stan Lee created. I like this trailer a lot more than the teaser because once again, I had all but forgotten about this movie, especially with all the other trailers that we've gotten in the past week. And this movie is really only three and a half months away. It's not looking bad to me. I really hope this movie is good because if it is, it'll show us that these movie studios with the rights to Marvel properties have improved and that they can make good movies about these Marvel characters, which would increase the chance for an awesome new Ghost Rider movie. That's all I really want. So the newest trailer for Fantastic Four. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Are you looking forward to this movie? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.